this is what masculine men don't want you to know. Hello, ladies. Okay, I might need to introduce the topic again. This is what masculine men don't want you to know. I'm gonna spill the tea. Okay, so if you have 10 15 minutes, and don't worry, like if you can't stay for for the entire time, I'm gonna put a replay on YouTube. Hello, ladies. Okay, today I'm gonna talk about the things masculine men don't want you to to know, and I'm sure it's gonna be like a shock for you. How are you guys? Okay, let me wear my glasses because. How are you guys? Okay, let me type the title. What masculine men don't want you to know. Speeding the tea. Hi Sandra, how are you? Okay, I'll put a matcha tea. Okay, so, okay, you know what, like, while I was taking notes, so what I did is, like, instead of opening the, um, the notes app, I texted my, my, my BFF on, on WhatsApp, you know, to, to write all the things that I want to mention, and, and I was like, okay, please ignore me, I'm gonna go live on Instagram, and you are my note app. So I, I listed down everything I'm going to share and she answered them. So get ready. So the first thing that you might ignore is that they are normal men. Okay. I, I have clients who, who date super successful actors. You know them and all of that. And they are norm normal men. Okay. They, they, they have insecurities. Like the only difference is the the character and like by that i mean that they're gonna be different the way even average men are different from one another you see but when it comes to quality options they they struggle as much as anyone else you see so you don't have to worry about them being more high status than you them being you know nba players big ceos or anything like that at the end of the day they have the same challenges as anyone else they want quality of course they have they have a bigger pool in the sense where because of their status they know more people but at the end of the day they still struggle with quality and they like I, I can't share too too much details obviously but yeah like you you have the upper hand okay from what i've seen you have the upper hand so the other thing that i want to share is that they care about your beauty first, okay? I don't care how smart it is, how many PhDs he has and all of that. He cares about your beauty first, not your income. As I've said it many times, but men are more shallow than us. And um, you're going to see it uh, maybe in two to three days, but I'm going to post I'm gonna post something about hypergamy. And actually, if you follow me on YouTube, you may you might have seen the post already where I explain a little bit what hypergamy is, but yeah, this is hypergamy. You see, you as the feminine, you are attracted by men who, who make more than you and who are more intelligent than you. Like, of course, no one is smarter than you, but you see what you mean. Like, we are attracted by intelligence. You see, I always tell the the people, the, the women that I coach here, yeah, no one is smarter than you, and you know, if you can read, if you can watch videos, you can get ed educated. But yeah, we. We are attracted by intelligence, that's hypergamy. But hypergamy is also him being being attracted by a woman more physically attractive than him. Because what he looks for is signs of, how to say that? You know, um, for for evolution, he, looks to, he needs to look for a woman who is beautiful because we all want beautiful kids, you see. So if he sees that, you know, you have a nice body, nice face, that you take care of yourself and all of that, it in his mind like his brain will um will analyzes it processes it like we process right 
is when we process it as okay she's healthy you see so if she has a healthy body we we can have a healthy baby you see that's why you need to automate taking care of yourself and i know that you know when you are when you are you know um in the top management yourself you work crazy hours you bring work at work otherwise you know your clients won't be happy and all of that so it's hard you know to yeah it's hard to 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 find the time to take care of yourself but yeah you you need to have a look at how you can optimize things and make it work for you because that's um that's the minimum okay so i i hear some women say there won't be any summer body this year but no this is loser talk you can't say that you want that high value man that top executive and all of that and still say things like there won't be any summer body okay i'm all for loving yourself i'm all for working with what you have but you you can't think that it's okay to not put in the work to look your best wear the makeup all of us look low maintenance without makeup okay i'll keep it real with you past 20 years old no one looks fresh and slim without doing much effort we all need makeup so get your eyelashes done if you need a bit of fillers or botox you can do it okay but make sure that uh you know you you do it um with with a, a great surgeon you check his reviews and all of that okay i, I know that in the states like actually your esthetician can do your botox and all of that here in france is very regulated only a dermatologist or a surgeon can do the botox and fillers so i would say go see those people first okay and and yeah if you compare yourself with with women on social media who you feel like they look pretty prettier than you they they are putting in the work okay they are at the gym they they eat healthy they optimize things they do the they do the highlight they do their eyelash they they do their makeup if they need fillers they do the fillers and all of that but like you are free to to do what whatever you are comfortable with but i want to say that I don't want you either to be obsessed with your appearance in the sense where I don't want you to feel like there is always something to to fix because that's not true. The goal is to look your best, but it's also about feeling your best. You see. And what I want to say as well is that you don't have to do as much as you think. Okay? Most of the things that's going to help you get commitment with high value men will be how you work on your character, your femininity, how you how you are able to become a drug to their brain and like one hour ago just one hour ago i was watching our uh, i was reading something on instagram that talked about breakups and i knew it already but it was still you know a good reminder it uh, the so it's from neuroscience and they were saying that when we break up so we feel pain so what what's happening so i'm gonna read what i saw because i sent it to one of my clients because we talked about it a few days ago so yeah breakup breakup pain is real love can be a wonderful experience but breakups can really hurt hurt when you scan the brain of people struggling with a breakup their brain still acts in love no difference to couples still in loving relationships but a key difference is that those experiencing a breakup also also show increased activity new regions of the brain such as the cingulate and vta these are the same brain areas involved in drug addiction and you might be wondering why i'm reading that but this is the point that i wanted to to mention when you are when you are in love you know the other person is a drug to your brain and that's what i want you to become i want you to make sure that you become a drug to his brain you see and the other thing that um that are root and that i want you to know about the little secret of men is let's see so they love they love making average women discover wealth in the sense where many rich many rich women act um and unpressed like if you take them to really nice hotels they act like yeah i've been there 10 times already this is nothing and that's not um that's not the the reaction that they are looking for they want you to be impressed and all of that okay because you know they 
they can afford nice places and they, they can afford going to those places on their own but it is it feels better for them to go there you know with a special woman and one big secret that many of you don't know is that some of them hire a service to be on tinder to be on tinder bumble and all of that on their behalf because they they don't have the time basically to chat with multiple women they rather make money so they use you know agencies to to talk to women on their behalf and then they, they just go on the date when the um, when the agencies select the right candidates for them so yeah that's something that many of you don't know and i didn't know um up to now but yeah that's something that i really really wanted to share and another thing that you might not know is that many of them are really insecure about their looks that's the reason why they shut down the light during intimacy and and yeah and some of them you know they they work hard but they don't take care of their hair so you know it reflects on their body you want a guy who's well one day who takes care of his health of his body and and all of that so yeah don't settle on that because health is worth and there is one compliment that they like and i made a post about it like a while ago but there's one compliment that a lot of men would love to hear and that compliment is you have a nice butt you see men don't get as many as much compliments as us women like us women there is always someone you know stroking our ego and all of that but for men it's different so make sure that you stroke his ego but also that that ego stroking is only for kings okay it's for men who treat you well it's for men who spoil you and it's for men who allow you to rest in your feminine energy okay that's basically like what i wanted to share yeah today i didn't post any video on on youtube because i was a bit short of short on time but yeah this is why i told myself okay i'm gonna go live here on instagram for the lady so that at least i can say hi and update them as well on what's going on and there is something else actually that i want to mention is that many of them are getting rich thanks to only fun not because they post pictures of themselves, but because they're like only fan managers. So this is a massive red flag. If you meet a guy who, who is an only fan manager, he's a pimp, okay? That's prostitution. And that's not something that a high value woman should encourage, even though you get the money that you want. That's not high value, okay? He's working with prostitutes and you don't want that. And some are also become, becoming becoming rich thanks to OnlyFans, but like they use AI, like they create models, you know, with artificial intelligence and then they create OnlyFans for, for those fake models and they make money like that. And that's also super low value, like you want a man who, who does something ethical. Like I've seen other, like other men do things that were not particularly like ethical like that and like it can be in real estate as well they can they can do things like okay i'm just gonna i'm just gonna rent to immigrants because i know that at least immigrants they they don't sue you if they if there, if there is something wrong with the with the apartment okay if you have a guy who has that kind of thought process that's a red flag you want him to earn money in an ethical way like if he, he if he's good with money it's because you know it delivers a good service a service is proud to to sell and a service where you know he's honoring his higher self okay that's basically hello mira hello camel room Hello Fatia. Hello Nicole. So yeah, that's basically the little secrets of men. If I find up if I find out more, 
I'm gonna jump on another live and spill the tea with you. Okay. Well, if you are on YouTube, like if you watch the replay on YouTube, let me know if there is something that I forgot and if there is something that I said here that shocked you. I'm curious to know. Well, okay, I have to go. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Bye. Have a lovely day or evening. For me, it's almost bedtime. But, yeah, it's actually bedtime for me. Well, bye.